Welcome to the homework for lesson 20. This is module 6 of second grade. And name here first, please. Use the objects to create an array with two rows. So I need an array with two rows. First thing I want to find out is uh, how many I can put in each row. So if I circle these in pairs, I'll know how many I can have in each row. That's my kind of trick for figuring this out. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that means there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I can do that with two rows of six since there's one, two, six, okay, so. Try to make them evenly spaced and that's five and there's six. And maybe you draw stars differently than I do, that's okay. Maybe you just draw circles or X's, that's fine too, as long as you have as long as you have two rows of six, you're good. There are an even number, right? Because everything's paired up when I circled them all, right? So that's even number of stars. Redraw your picture with one less star. Now you can't have an array, but I'm still going to draw, I'm going to draw an array with one missing. And usually we leave them off on the end, but I'm going to just be goofy and leave one out of the middle but just one and you can see um, there's an odd number of stars because this guy here is kind of left out he doesn't have a he doesn't have a, he's in a column of one and the others are in columns of two Okay, array with two rows again. So let's see how many rows we need, how many we can put in each row or how many columns we need. So that's a column of two right there. So two rows means columns of two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need seven columns of two will give us two rows of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's even because everything got paired up and now draw it with one more star. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I need one more, so I'm going to put them down here. Or you can put them on the end over here somewhere, as long as you just have one more. So now I can see that I have, uh, it's not an array because the columns and rows are not all equal, so it's even. I mean, so I'm sorry, it's odd. There's an odd number of stars there, so that's this would be uh, 14, and this is one more, 15. So the idea is when you add one or take away one from an even number, you make it odd. Array with two rows. So again, how many columns do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I slow down just a little bit, I get better looking stars. There are an even number of stars. And now if I draw with one less, see here I had in B, I had two rows of seven and I added one and I had odd. In, in for C, I'm going to have two rows of seven and subtract one and that's going to make it odd. 
just a different way to look at it. The more different ways you look at something, the better you understand it and the better you can use it in more different situations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need one missing. And I'll just leave that one off the end there. And that makes it odd. Now tell if each number is odd or even on the line below. So let's see, six plus six is 12. And this is, so we're gonna write O or E under each number. So six is an even number, even, even, even. So that says, that tells me that two even numbers added together make another even number. So here we have an, an odd number and an even number, seven plus eight is 15, and 15 is odd. So odd plus even is odd. Eight plus 13 is 21, which is odd. Eight is even. 13 is odd. So odd plus even is odd. Even plus odd is odd. Okay, so what happens now we have odd plus odd. So 9 plus 11 is 20. So that's odd, odd, even. So odd plus odd is even. I think that's all the different ways that you can have it. So 9 plus 15, that's 24. Because 10 plus 15 would be 25. So it's one less. Because a 9 is one less than 10. So we have odd, odd, even. 7 plus 14 is 21. So that's odd, even, odd which is the same as E, which was odd plus even, it's odd. 17 plus eight is 25. Uh, this is 17 is odd, eight is even, and 25 is odd. So odd plus even is gonna give you an odd number. It just gives you, I mean, this, is, this comes in handy in more ways than you would expect. To, to know about what happens when you add odd and even numbers and what kind of sums you can get. I mean, it's not just being able, uh, having another way to check your answer. And it, were, and it really helps out too when you're adding really large numbers to like when you get caught, in, caught up in all that arithmetic and all the different procedures you use to add and use place value and all your strategies. You just look at your answer and you're like, well, no, that should be an odd number because I added it that one's odd and that one's even so this answer should be odd and it's not so that's just it's one way that you can use that you can use this uh, 9 plus 9 is 18 right that's a double so that's odd plus odd is even write three number sentence examples to prove that each statement is correct so now you're gonna have to sub there's a lot of different right answers for this and the ones I'm going to write or not the only ones that you can have that are going to be correct for this. Maybe you can think of your own, but if I add, I want examples that two even numbers added together will give me an even sum. So I need two even add ends. Two plus two equals four. And I need three of these, three examples for each statement. So what if I had uh, six plus four, that's going to be 10, right? Because they don't have to be doubles. And then just two even numbers, 12 plus two, 14, even plus odd. So uh, two plus three equals five and 12 plus 13 equals 25 and 0 plus 5 equals 5 right because 0 is an even number odd uh, 1 plus 1 equals 2 
uh, and how about 11 plus 11 equals 22 and 3 plus 5 equals 8. So hopefully that just gives you an idea of uh, what, what they're looking for and maybe you come up with your own examples. I hope you do. Write two examples for each case. Next to your answer, write if your answers are even or odd. The first one's been done for you. So same thing that we just did. Uh, write two examples for each case. This says add an even number to an even number. And then after you, after you find your total, write whether it's even or odd. So even to even. Uh, 2 plus 6 equals 8 even right and okay odd number to an even number so how about 11 is odd plus 2 is even and this is the same thing as this last one here you just need to write two examples instead of three and it's not in a box with a chart so uh let's see that's going to be 13 so odd and let's think of another example odd number how about 101 plus 2 that's going to be 103 odd because right, we're just looking at those at those ones digits those ones place digits that tells you whether it's even or odd Let's see, add an odd number to an odd number. So how about 51 plus 3? That equals 54 even. And how about 17 plus 5? That's going to be 22, and that's even make your own up and uh the example should turn out the same as mine the, as long as you get even and these are supposed to be odd and these are supposed to be even so this is that's what this is all about the big idea is just the rules of what happened when you add even and odd numbers to each other what kind of sums you can get